Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is gonna be kind of a Heinz Variety video of little projects I have going on today and updates on where I'm at for uh, fencing and a couple other little projects I have. It so just keep you up to date on what's going on and uh, talk about what we're doing today. So, probably can find this all out yourself, but uh, I think you remember from the last video I talked about Oso chasing the deer out of the field, the deer that, the doe that ate off of uh, most of the tops and sides of my new fruit trees. So I was doing some research on, of course, YouTube, uh, Google, whatnot, and saw people talking about Irish Spring. I can't believe this used to be the soap. But anyway, uh, stinky. Anyway, and if you like it, it's okay. I don't, I don't take offense. Please don't take offense. But um, I think it's stinky now. Anyway, um, so I went and bought me a vat of Irish Spring. And the idea is to get some uh, string. And we're going to drill a hole into the... Uh, soap and hang these from the trees because the deer don't like the smell at least that's the theory and that's what what uh, folks say and so if i can salvage a few of these trees that still have a few leaves on them uh, that's that's one of my projects today is to hang the irish spring off of my fruit trees i think i have 10 new fruit trees so the ones that still have a few leaves, we're gonna try to save them with some Irish Spring. Uh, what else are we gonna do? Uh, I got really excited about getting the uh, rails done on the fence. I didn't video it, and I'll probably get some flack for that. But uh, took some. Uh, I just wanted to get the rails up quick so I could get the f pickets up so that we could contain the dogs and got the rails up in a couple days and then called the picket place uh, that's probably an hour away and tried to get some pickets scheduled for pickup and they said there are 12 orders behind so it's probably gonna be a couple weeks before i get my pickets so i'm in a holding pattern which <laughs> which i'm well familiar with so i have my rails up and um so I'm probably going to do a little fertilizing on the lawn today and uh, water my fresh seeded uh, grass to fill in this patch and then um, wait till I get the call on my pickets and my new gate. So this area behind me is where uh, the gate's going to go and I ordered a four foot gate that they're going to build and then um, the rest of the rails are up all the way around the yard. Kind of followed the contour of the ground the slope and whatnot so i'll cut the tops of the poles off ultimately when i get my pickets in the area that i'm seeding you might remember i had uh fenced off i have fresh grass going in there so i'm going to probably do some watering in there today and a little bit of fertilizer i'm not a big fertilizer fan but i want to get that grass in for the dogs and then this will be their yard so that's the holding pattern we're in right now for the fencing. Um, what else do I have going on? Oh, so Michelle and I found a uh, old chain link kennel on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace. And the gentleman had several panels of chain link for 25 bucks, which is a steal of a deal. Some of them need a little bit of work, but I instantly thought about my chickens and extending their chicken run, basically doubling their chicken run. So that's on the agenda today. Go out and pull those panels and set them up so that uh, we can double our chicken run. So I might take some video of that, hopefully, so you could uh, see how that works. Uh, see how that looks. I did kind of throw it up temporarily just to give them some experience exposure to more ground and they were pretty excited about it so I'm looking forward to giving them uh, more running space uh, but we're right now what we're gonna do is hang some Irish spring 
so thanks for coming by. All right, guys, so you can see this little apple tree. It's got, uh, been chewed on a little bit. This is actually one that's in better shape than a lot of them. And so my theory is, is I'm gonna take this uh, Irish spring and hang it on there and we'll see if the deer leave it alone. Um, I have 10 more to do there towards the bottom of the hill. So I'm gonna move my soap tying down to the bottom after I hang it on these two trees. All right, folks, so I think this is gonna work. We're gonna put these on the trees and see what we think. I actually made an extra long one for my pear tree because the crows like that. I want to see if I can keep the crows out of the tree, too. So here we go. All right, so I ran one bar short, so I had to go tie another one. Some of uh, the viewers is, have asked about this apple tree that we had to tear out to take out the old manufactured home. Several videos back, I'll have to look, maybe I can post it on here so you could see uh, what video that was. But we had to dig this apple tree out real quick so that they could move the uh, triple wide out of here. And I didn't think it was gonna survive and it was too big for me to try to lift up and put in a new hole by myself. So I ended up cutting the roots right back and cutting the top of it way back, obviously. Um, but it is coming back with a vengeance. So some people have asked about that. So I thought I'd share with you that, uh, obviously it's gonna be a while before we get any apples off of it, but I think it wants to live and it's definitely uh, coming back. So you could see, uh, these little trees in the background here that I put the soap on. I planted these earlier in the year and I don't think I did a video on that, but um, some peach trees, pear trees, apple trees. And a couple weeks ago, or a week or so ago, they had tons of leaves on them. And uh, now they're, some are worse than others, but uh, they're not looking so hot. So I'm gonna go tie this last one on, this last bar of soap on, and we'll see what happens. On the uh, pear tree over here behind me, this one here, for whatever reason, the crows really like that one. They'll get in there uh, together and rip branches off and probably take the small pieces of fruit that are just starting to show up. So I tied one in there, to see if it has the same effect on crows, probably not, but hey, I'm learning as I go. So we'll see what happens.
Hey guys, so the chickens are investigating their, their extended run. I didn't uh, bore you with the details of putting the little clamps on and all that, but I still have, or building the ramp for that matter, um, which took like five minutes. But uh, this is gonna give them, I think it's like 23 feet. I think there's two 10 foot panels. This side's like two, two six foot panels and a 10 footer. So what's that, 22 feet or so-ish? It might be 10 foot, I don't know. Anyway, somewhere around 20 to 24 feet. They're still trying to decide if this is a good idea. Um, but I wanna bring in some sand and a little bit of dirt, kind of level off uh, the right side because it is on a hill here. And then um, I have this uh, green, meshy stuff that I'm gonna probably put on top because I do have one bird that's always trying to fly. So um, I'm gonna put that across the top and then I'll probably, I got a PVC pipe in the middle right now, but I'm gonna um, probably grab a couple regular uh, chain link poles and um, do it upright on that. And then this one panel over here that I patched on the right, the big one, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably put a new chain link in there or get some from somebody but yeah they're they're trying to decide whether they want to come down um the man gate that i got with this little purchase is over on this side and still not need to find a mounting mechanism or method for the gate whether it's um, going to be installing a pole there or what but anyway that's the deal hopefully they'll come out here soon and we'll get a little footage of that okay so here they are checking it out well usually one does it they'll all come down to see what's going on i'm just hoping they don't fly out before i get the top on and then it'll be my bad but uh yeah i think they're kind of digging it you can see that it's added a, a tremendous amount of space for uh, my $25 investment. Like I said, I'm going to clean it up a little bit and do some more fixing, but I think they're going to dig it. And once I get the top on, it'll be an area that will keep them safe. This is going to be a day run kind of thing. So at night, um, you know, we're still going to lock everything down and they won't be over on this side of the run after dark because obviously there's no ground protection. Um, but anyway, thanks for coming along and uh, we will talk to you soon. Hopefully the next video, maybe I might be getting some new chicks, I hope. Anyway, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.